R, that Responsible Facility Guard. Item Number, SCP-8367. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-8367 must remain at Site Blank at working as a Facility Guard. If SCP-8367 tries to leave Site Blank at any time, SCP-8367 must be contained and questioned on why it attempted to escape, although SCP-8367 has shown no signs of trying to escape. If someone requests SCP-8367 to be temporarily promoted to MTF status for highly dangerous or life-threatening mission, it must be sent up to the O5s for further approval. Description. SCP-8367 is a Caucasian male around 24 years old, that is 5 feet 11 inches in height, and around 230 pounds. SCP-8367 claims that he would like to be called R, but also wouldn't mind if someone called him his name, which is blank. SCP-8367 anomalous effects start to manifest when it is terminated in any way. After the termination of SCP-8367, another instance of SCP-8367 will appear either on or near the original body. Tests show that the other instance of SCP-8367 is almost exactly like the original SCP-8367 that died, even down to the genes. SCP-8367 said to feel no pain during its termination, and seems to have a high tolerance to pain. SCP-8367, even though given improved and highly advanced weapons, only chooses to use an STG-44, a common weapon used during World War II. When asked on why he only chooses to use that, SCP-8367 said, Well, this was really common back in my day, and plus it brings back a lot of memories. Addendum. SCP-8367 was recovered on March 3rd, blank. The Foundation found SCP-8367 helping in the Abushiri Revolt, holding up against the front lines. After rumors spread around about an undead soldier, SCP-8367 was found and retrieved by Foundation members. Any personnel still skeptical on what happened to SCP-8367 are to be informed that SCP-8367 had an incurable disease and had to be immediately moved to a quarantined area to keep everyone safe.